Hey guys, thank you for joining us again for another exciting episode of Yomo. This is the Year of Magical Learning Podcast. So today is a brand new week. We had uh, Labor Day off, so today is, uh, you know, Tuesday, but yet yeah, it's the beginning of the week. So we are trying to wrap up the uh, second installment of the Long Tail, the book we started last week. And, you know, um, I, I'll, I'll leave the reflection for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Um uh, if you don't remember the long tail, uh, what we talked about last week, it was um, um, the long tail uh, is a um, statistical curve um, it, that this guy named Chris Anderson coined uh, where uh, you have really big hits um, uh, each. Jeez, e- God, this is this is always really hard. It looks like this. The curve looks like this, you know, uh, and at the top of the curve, you have a very high concentration with smaller, with only certain, you know, entities. And then as you go down the curve, uh, the curve gets longer and longer and longer because there's more and more options. It's more like, never it's more like an 80-20 rule. Right. Yes. Um, or, not, or 90, uh, you know, 10, probably 90 like 95. Rule. Yeah, it's like 95. Or 90, you know, oh, yeah. on one, uh, you know, one in 99. Right, exactly. <laughs> like the. You have some hits, and then you have, you know. I mean, uh, you have you have a steep decline, and then and, right. and and then you have this asymptote that never reaches the the zero. So exactly. uh, it's more it's more like a steep curve. So it's not it's not like a a um, more like a um, a a quarter circle. It's more like a steep curve. Right, right. exponentially declines. You know, as it gets a, um, it's it's a demand curve, right? So it's a demand at the top of the curve. There's there's a, you know, very, you know, little supply, but a ton of demand. And then at the bottom of the curve, there's a ton of supply, but very little demand, but the demand never goes to zero. Um, uh, so it's it's an interesting phenomenon um, that if you can, if you, the, the theory is, you know, for most of human history, we've focused on the hits, you know, the the ones that you want to, you know, the, where the high demand with very single, you know, with, with like one, one one fell the, the the big hit movies or the big hit like songs or something like that right mm-hmm. um uh versus now in in modern times we can we can focus in more on um the full curve uh as long as we can figure out how to how to filter and get people to what they want so more like niche stuff like down the road the, when you add up all the tail it's actually way bigger than the than just the the fat head i guess um uh in in theory um, so it's it's an interesting it's a very interesting um, concept I thought you know and um, and it was and it was really interesting to learn and something I you know obviously felt good enough to write two reflections on so uh, the first reflection was the long tail of values um, so we talked about um, uh, you know I think there's like a fat head um, uh, of concentration of values that are being generated in this world by 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 very small number of entities, you know, um, they're being shoved down your throat, like nation states and and really large businesses and, you know, educational institutions and relig- uh, uh, religions, um, uh, you know, whatever it may be, right? Like, you know, there's a, there's, th- their values shine higher uh, and is really like the, the hit makers of everything. And then, um, but there's, uh, there's value for everybody, right? Um, everybody has values. So like, like just like uh you know the curves that we talk about the, the more you go down longer and longer and longer down the tail um you know true has values i have values um everybody has values and um uh you know there's there is always something for everybody in my opinion uh if you, as you continue to go down the curve uh, our job is to try to figure out how to match that up right so we talked about that in the first one um uh the fir- second reflection is about everything for everyone um so as we know um you know, I mean, as, we, as we've talked about, every, every every person is unique and like every single person is unique. Like there will never be another true. There will never be another Chris. There will never be. And I, th- I think we all intuitively understand this, but I think this is like a really, really, really important point. Right. The your your lived experiences, um, who you are, what you've done throughout your course of your life, how how you were genetically, you know, com- you know, the composition, the genetic makeup of, that is you. Um, uh, all the things you've experienced in life, all the things that have caught your attention and whatever, for whatever reason caught your attention and you decided to do or not do, um, you know, like that can never be replicated ever again. Like, it's just, it's not possible. Like nobody has the same experiences you have. Like it's, it's, it's a, 
you, you really are one of one. Um, uh, and I, and there's no, there's no, I, I, I mean, I know that we, I know everybody intuitively understands this, but I don't think that people really, really, really understand how unique they are. I mean, I, I remember, I think I saw a statistic. Um, it's like the odds of you even existing, like ex just existing, not, not, you know, not even, you know, doing what you've done throughout the course of your life um, is like one in 400 trillion or something like that. Right. Like, I mean, it's like, you are a miracle. We've talked about this before in the past, like every single person is a miracle to even be here. And then what you do when you're here is, is such a unique path that nobody could ever recreate ever again. You know, just, just, it's not possible. Um, so that said, um, uh, like, even though each person is, is incredibly unique, um, uh, everything that we do isn't necessarily incredibly unique. Like for whatever reason, my, my file path, if you will, and, uh, uh, my DNA and my, you know, um, lived experiences and my red threads, uh, things that I love to do led me to want to play tennis. I'm not the only person in this world that plays tennis, right? Um, uh, like, and that's that. So like, I may be unique, but what I do, everything that I do isn't necessarily unique. You know what I mean? Like, we, there's plenty of people that cook, there's plenty of people that code, you know, there's plenty of people that sell things. There's plenty of people that, you know, work in the technology sector. There's plenty of people that, you know, do podcasts, like whatever, right? Like I'm, there's, there's probably very little things that you do in this world that are, that are actually, you know, and individually unique, you know, but the totality of what you do and who you are and your makeup is totally 100% unique. Um, uh, that said though, like when you, these, 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 uh, these things that you do that aren't necessarily unique, there's, there is a connection to almost, um, any single, every single person in this world, um, uh, there, there, there is a way to connect, you know, to almost every single person in this world. If you, if you listen to them, you understand what their unique, you know, experiences are and you, and you try to marry that up to what you do. Um, that's, you know, what Adam Grant would call like an uncommon commonality, right? Like, like there's something that happened in this world and there, in this life that, that is something that you've experienced that you also care about that somebody else also cares about. That's really just up to you if you want to figure that out or try hard enough, in my personal opinion. Um, the, uh, um, if you do though, like you, you end up finding these meaningful connections to people. Um, and, uh, and those meaningful connections are kind of like a red thread of a, of a, of a relationship, right. You know, um, uh, it could be something unique. Like you and I, when we first connected, we, we, you know, we both had experienced, um, uh, I don't know, I guess, what, what would you call that initial? We were both in a place in our life where we were both realized that we, um you know weren't going to go any further in the path that we were on before you know so like i don't i don't know um well, we I, hit I a brick yeah. wall <laughs> yeah we hit a brick wall right like our brick walls may have been you different but like you know but we both... yeah we, we get stopped in our tracks exactly so like that was the uncommon commonality that you and i shared right and that was the meaningful connection that we both um uh you know started our relationship off with and like as robert cialdini says uh in his book uh, influence similarity draws people together um, so, you know, when, when you find the similarities and the uncommon commonalities, um, even though your unique existence is unique, like there's going to be these overlaps with, with people you meet across all, all the time. Right. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, you continue to mine out that red thread of that commonality of that connection with somebody. And, uh, and all, all of a sudden, maybe, maybe you find, you really like this person. You can find more and more stuff and you talk more and more about that, that, that meaningful connection or sorry, that, that, that common connection. Then that common connection turns into an actual meaningful connection, right? And then you guys start to do stuff together. And then all of a sudden, that meaningful connection turns into a meaningful relationship. And then that meaningful relationship produces meaningful work together because you guys are all still going after those same commonalities, right? You know, that you, you found along the way. So in like the, the, the Venn diagram of life, you know, um, if you will, like there's, there's like, it's really, really interesting when, you know, you can connect and almost every single person you meet, there's like some overlapping little thing. If you if you try hard enough, I swear to God, there is. I mean, I'm I'm convinced of this at this point in time. Like you can meet any single person, and if you tried hard enough, you listen hard enough, how to win friends and influence people, kind of whatever you know stuff. Like listen to their background, find those similar values and and those similarities that that you guys share and your and your and your unique experiences, and you can find a way to connect the dots to form a meaningful connection and meaningful relationship with somebody. And who knows if that turns into more um, like that's that's kind of up to, you know, the universe, in my opinion, to decide. But that's that's, um, you know, that's kind of the, the underlying principle, I think, of of of. The, the long tail, right, like is is there's on this curve, this this bottom curve, the, the long the long tail portion of the long tail, like. 
everybody is unique on that on that curve at the bottom down there um like it's it's really about trying to figure out you know how you can how you can individually connect people and connect the dots i guess along the way um uh with your you know unique lived experience and and like in a weird way i feel like that's kind of our mission you know um uh you and i and is is to is to help people to figure out what their underlying source code is and then find the commonalities amongst you know other people uh and then go you know build meaningful relationships to turn into meaningful work together um, i know we've talked about like what's the yin and yang of this whole thing is it meaningful work <laughs> then it turns into meaningful relationships or the meaningful relationships turns into meaningful work i don't know it's somewhere in between all of it at the same time but but the whole point is meaning and meaning connects with your values and can, and your values are um, uh, something that, you know, you can connect to the dots to anybody in the world. Um, if you try hard enough, in my personal opinion. So I don't, I'm kind of meandering a little bit for this one, but it's, that's why the title is like everything for everyone. If you can figure out what that everything is for, for other people, um, you have an opportunity to, to form a meaningful, you know, connection and then maybe a meaningful relationship and then maybe meaningful work. And then maybe, you know, that's, that's what, that's what it's all about. Right. So I don't know. I, I'm, I'll, I'll stop there. <laughs> I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, okay. I guess my first thought is I still don't see how the long tail has to do with any <laughs> of the things. Maybe, like I said, I don't <laughs> understand the long tail enough for me to understand the connection between the reflection and the book itself. But you know, I uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk about something for everyone. Okay. Right. Uh, so for for me, I think you know. Let me ask you this question then. Um, do you remember how we met? Through, uh, I don't even remember what the site was called. Um, what is that site called? Indie Hackers. Indie Hackers, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. I don't even remember how I found that, to be honest with you. I think somebody okay. told me about the um, random, some random, I don't even remember how I got that site. Like, to be how, how, how did you met David? I think through the same site. Same site? Okay. Yeah, I think. So, no, that's not right. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I can't remember anymore. It's been, that's crazy. It's been so long. Um, I think it's the same site. I think. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, you know, go back to what you're saying is, is this uh, something for everyone. And my thought is that you talk about the uh, uncommon commonalities, right? The thing is, uncommon commonalities to me, isn't in my opinion isn't a direct cause for why we connect and have this meaningful relationship oh i agree yeah. right and so i think i think for me personally you know this is how this this is what i think i think is there's something that i need that you could provide that's why mm -hmm. i connect with you and vice versa there's something that you need that I can provide. That's why you connect with me. To me, this is the underlining reason for the relationship. Whether you call it uncommon and the uncommon commonalities, whatever, I think this is just definition we give to ourselves. And I don't think that's really the direct. It may be a secondary, um, you know, like a secondary uh sort of thing that we 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 kind of you know kind of um understand about what, what it is that we need. But I think in reality is you are able to provide what I want and I was able to provide what you want. And whether or not when we met together, right? You think about when we when we, we, we connect, right? I can connect with anyone, but it is in the commonality that you and I connected, right? So yes, there right. is a commonality of you get on indie hackers, and I'm also indie hackers at the same time at the same stage. So right, right. there are there are certain there are certain things that uh, give us a chance well, we had to, to, figure that out. to like, come across to that. come across one another one another. But because of that, you say, well, that you can consider that common commonality. But I say that's to me, that's more like by chance. And you think about you know full by randomness, it's by chance. Right. And and by chance, I mean like, hey, you know, they, I come across a lot of people, not just you, not just, but by chance, I come across you. And by chance, you were looking for something. By chance, I'm also right. looking for something. And you happen to provide what I need and you and, and, and vice versa. So I want to get to the point is that the 
if you want to leverage your values, first of all, you have to know your values, mm-hmm. right? You have to understand what your values are, and then you have to be able to say yes or no. Because if you keep, because if I can, if I come across anyone and I say, well, you know, this uh, this guy John, he wants me to be his CTO, and uh, you know, I provide technology, you know, technical co-founder, and he provides the other one. So he and I will have the have the right need, right? Good. He need he need a technical co-founder. I need a, a more of a a, a business um, side of the co-founder. That's a need. Why don't I just go with him? Why don't right. I say yes to him? And I said, so you understand? The thing is, for me, it is more crucial for you to understand your core values, and you gotta say no because the moment you say yes, you are you are um completely um taken in a way. When you take in, you you're not available for other people. Right. Just like just like when when you you I don't know if you like chemistry or at all, but you know how you have a a a, a positive charge atoms and a negative charge atom, right? He mm-hmm. said like I'm 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 I have extra electrons, right? So I'm negatively charged. I have extra electrons, and then this guy say hi. I'm positive charged because I have. I have missing an electron. So I need what you have, and this guy need what he have. And right. when he connects, when he when he bonded, he has created a, conne- a connection. Mm-hmm. When he flows around, he doesn't need it anymore. So when when he come across another possibly charged electron, a negative charged electron, he's not gonna connect with those guys it, because it's already taken. The space right. has been filled. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. the thing is, like I said, you know, there are many people who comes to me and come across my 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 desk. Many many people like say, mm-hmm. hey, you know, I want you to be CTO. And I want you to build me this, the blah blah blah, right? But the, the the question I'm asking is, you know, why don't I go with him? Why don't I go with her? Why don't I go with other uh, people? And and why do I go in the hacker? Why do you I connect? When I mean, then you and I, let's say you you David connected, right? Mm-hmm. And and the thing is, by chance, you David connected before me, and and you and I and I contact you, and you say no to me. You say no, I yeah. I, I found somebody. I, I I think I'm good with this guy, right? Right. So right. You, you see what I said? Because then I had no chance because you already connected with somebody. But I'm yeah. saying is because the value that you and David did not provide for each other, you start to say you start to separate. That's why you and I would connect. We would have connected, and then you and I continue this this journey. That's the thing is you and I understand what it is that we are looking for. David was young and he didn't know what he wanted. Yeah, he true. he yeah. thought he wanted something, but when 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 he said when he he you met right, I I'm I'm just making an assumption here. When you and when he and you met, you guys hit it off. You guys say, well, these are the things that I need from this guy, and that and uh, and David said, okay, that's the thing I need from Chris. So it's right. a it's a great match. Yeah. In theory, but yeah. the thing is, eventually David said, "Well, uh, I'm swaying on my core values that I told you that I have, and so that's why it broke." And you say, Pretty "So much, to yeah. me, to me, in the end, it is what it is that you know about yourself. What are your real core values, and is it a true right. core value, or you just think that's a core value that you have?" Because if I tell you, Chris, you know, I love to learn and I love to go on here and I talk about podcasts. And do that, and I told you that that's what I love to do, right? But deep down, I hate to speak, I hate to sound my voice, and I hate to to you know be you know just learn. If I don't right. like to learn, right? How long do you think I can continue down this journey with you? Because oh, yeah, eventually, no, I... it's go- it's gonna kick me out. It's going it's Agreed. going to compel. It's going to expel me from from right. this bond, right? Right. And so so when we're talking about the go- the value, is first of all. Your value has to be a value that you truly understand it, and you truly say, "Well, that's me," and versus something that I thought that was me. Right. So yes. that's first and foremost. And the that's second the thing is yeah. the second thing is we have to be able to provide. I'm providing my core my core values. It's it in a combination. Yes, we do have some commonalities, but when we say uh, so. Before I go into it, what we do is because I have uh, values that is valuable to you that you need right now, and mm-hmm. you have core values that's valuable to me that I need right now. That's the reason why we continue to grow. Because the moment, and the thing is, 
you and I are, are moving at the same speed, right? right? You and I are taking taking you know uh, a run down the track, and you and I are on the same speed, and you and I are side by side. You know, one is not Bob because the thing is, like I said, you know, with the yeah. well example before, it yeah. doesn't work if one is going faster than the other. So we we happen to go in that direction, right? So that the the commonality we're talking about, it's it, a lot of time it's confusing because what I see is not about commonalities, right? Because commonality is, hey, we, you, you, Chris and me, we love to learn, right? Yeah. But the thing is, my learning and my value I take from it is different. It's really different from what you say because I'm more of a logic, uh, very sequential um, minded, right? So mm-hmm. the, 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 the pieces of puzzle that you and I were discussing, right? We, we take it and we put it into a, a map. A map looks different, even though the right. pieces are, the, are pretty much the same. Thousand percent. The, you're the way you're unique. Use, I mean, <laughs> the way we use that piece of puzzle yeah. in our own paradigm, our own map is different. Right. So that's what I'm saying is, yes, you think, hey, we have commonality. We love to learn, but your learning is different than my learning, right? Yeah. Right? Sure. And so so, so it, it's very confusing. when we. And the thing is, the reason why it's confusing is because we make up these words. We, we make definitions for what it means. Right. But to me, at the end, to make it sim- to simplify the, 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 the journey we have, is first of all, you have to know who you are, what kind of value you can provide. Right. What can you provide, right? You can provide somebody, and you say, hey, this is what I can provide. And you move along. And the thing is, you really, sometimes you cannot really say, well, can I meet Chris if I wanted to? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I, right. I don't think I can meet Chris just because I wanted to. It has to be by random chance. I meet Chris. Yeah, all but I be, yeah. The reason why Chris and I are on this journey is because I know my core values. I have spent so many years, uh, you know, going through midlife crisis, hitting the brick wall. And I said, well, these are things that I want and these are things that I don't want, right? Because you can go you can go and ask me right away, hey, True, I want you to lead this group. I said, no, I don't want to, I don't want to be leader because I know what I, what I want, right? Mm-hmm. And so I, I know how to say no because when I say no, that, because if I say yes, I'm taken. I mean, it's being locked up. So when I when 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 the chance comes across and I met somebody, if, you know, I, I I can't. You know, it doesn't break unless unless it break already, right? Mm-hmm. It it may break later on because of the the differences in the uh, the values that we thought we have. But once I engage, it's engaged. It doesn't connect. So the thing is, in order for us to best leverage our value to find the tribe, is to be able to know when to say no and when to say yes, right? And and it's gonna be by chance, and you you're gonna you're gonna have a higher, much higher chance of finding your tribe if you hold on to your core values. Say this is my core value. I I don't sway from it right. because if you don't sway from it, and somebody comes along and say, well, um, maybe I like that core values of you know maybe I can do a little bit grit. Maybe maybe I can eat a frog a little bit, right? right? right yeah. Because then for me, say eat a frog, forget it. I am not touching it. I right. move along. I, I'm not going to sit there and engage because I'm going to be engaged, and I'm be, I, I lost opportunity once once somebody some you know the right fit comes by. I don't right. I don't have opportunity yeah. to engage in that. And right. So yeah. so finding your tribe it is so so essential. It is crucial for you to know who you are and stand on your core values. And don't sway. If you sway, then you're going to be, I think you can be lost. You're going to be lost because, you know, people are going to, you're going to go down some rabbit hole for a number of years. And then you found out, hey, you know, this is not really my track. And then you, you go back to, to where you were. And they say, well, this right. didn't work. Right. No, I, I, I honestly, true. I could, I can't agree. I can't, I cannot agree more with what you just said. I mean, a thousand percent agree. Like, like, there's a different level of almost superficiality. Uh, the the me- meaningful re- of me- a true meaningful relationship, I don't think that you could ever recreate. Like like you're you're right. There's like a unique. I don't know. There there's a whole lot of randomness that happens that brings together like a true unique relationship. Um, I I uh, a meaningful relationship. I mean, um, uh, like to get to that full level of meaningful the the meaningful portion of a meaningful relationship, right? I think you can have a meaningful connection with a whole lot of people. Cause I like, whenever I would say to somebody, you know, my core value is, is learning, right? Like people might go, Oh, I love to learn too. You know, like my, my point being like, to your point, what you just said, like that doesn't really necessarily mean the same thing, you know, and, and you got to dig deeper 
you know, and, and mind that, mind that, you know. Right. Cause if they, that, that at the end of the day, right? I'm, yeah. I'm telling you that what we say, Hey, you are attracted mm. to commonalities. Um, that isn't true. In my mind, that isn't true. It is, it is, it is secondary, because, yeah. but the primary is you are providing something that I need. And I provide something you need. That's the reason why we can. Are you talking about to make it a meaningful relationship, though? Like, are you talking about to, to get to the point of a meaningful relationship, or or just even to connect with somebody? Because like, because like on the no, no, the, the meaningful the relationship, the more meaningful relationship is is that is that you provide something that I need. Right, I, right? I agree. And, with that. and, yeah. and that's the one that's connect. Yeah. To to be to be like, hey, I I, I happen to come across you. That's by random. Random chance and based on based Agreed. on directions and interests. Well, like, it doesn't have this, to be by random though. Like it could, it could. It is of, random because you think yeah. about it. If, if you, because it doesn't have to be. I mean, it definitely. You can't. I mean, ever you read the book the full by randomness, right? You you think there's a pattern to it? You, hey, you know. No, no, no. I don't think there's a pattern I, to it. I, I think that there. I think that if there's could, not a pattern to it, what do you call it? <laughs> I think you could probably curate a little bit. That you fool by like, that rest again. You you think you have control over this pattern. So are you so are you saying that you like when you go you on read, Amazon.com, you can't you can't you, you don't think that you have you think that it's totally random when you find a product on there like that 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 you weren't looking for? What do you mean? Like I'm I mean like if I were to buy if I were to just go on to Amazon, if I were to go on Etsy right now and like be looking for something else, but ended up buying mm. something else. You think that that's totally random that of what I ended up buying, or is there some level of of curation that was done? There's done? curation, but you have to understand you're talking about two different things. You're talking about somebody create a platform based on human design versus the natural design. Natural design is the 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 mm -hmm. the wicked environment we live in. Who designs it? God designs it, right? So you can't I mean, say, well, and you can't say, hey, take mm -hmm. Amazon and take Etsy. Say, well, Etsy is going to say, well, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you things that you may like because that in the past by statistics is more likely to buy. And because you are in, in, in train with a condition, if there's something that is, you know, it is visible to me, exposed to me, then I'm more likely to buy it than something that I was in the back of my head. Right. Okay. And so so when you when you when you compare the two, I don't see you comparing apple to apple. So it invalidates the the comparison. That's a good point. Uh, hmm. We're talking try... about we're talking about real world. We're not talking right. about some creation of man. You, we, we're not we're not a construct by a construct but, by man, but, right? But but can you construct this? The thing is, you're inside a system, right? You're in you in the system itself. So, can you be the creator and the creation, at, you know, at the same time? Could you? I guess could you know? Could you somehow sum up somebody's lived experiences somehow? That tendency that we can use to increase our chance, but there isn't a guarantee. It's still by random. But you stack that probabilities. Well, I mean, to, to your point, like if I were to just meet you randomly, like if I were to just, let's just say you and I run into each other. On the, my, uh, well, I guess it's not random if we live in the same city, like because that's. I mean, that is sorry, that is very random if we just happen it's to live in random. the same city. It's still yeah, random. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the thing yeah. is, uh, a lot of things are random, which is like I, like I say, the definitions and the word we use. Or hmm. sensory tags, we put something. It's not one hundred percent fit, right? Right. It's just right. hey, you right. know, it, yeah, it's it's usable point. for now. That's why I'm saying, hey, there's commonalities, but are you sure it's commonality? But well, not all cases. So they say, well, it's not one hundred percent accurately what we say. So I that's think why so. You could talk to anybody, and if you dig deep enough, and you know yourself well enough, that you could find a connection point with somebody. I'm not saying that that connection point is going to turn into a meaningful relationship i'm just saying but I i'm think saying can... but i'm saying is that's still random because the the connection is random and I think the question the, you ask is random to get to the connection for the, sure the, you know. so most of the thing we do is still random right so it is like I, like you say it is very very difficult for somebody to connect and because of that you're not helping 
that connection, finding the needle in a haystack if you don't know what your core values are. Yeah. And right. you yeah. don't know how to say no to whatever doesn't fit your core value because there is yeah. so much against you. The random, the probability, like you say, hey, for 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 you and me to be even be in existence, it's one in four hundred trillion, right? That is how much art we're talking about. And for the odds of you yeah. and me get to meet, right? To meet only. You say, hey, you you and I happen to be on on um, indie hackers. Like you imagine, like the billion. I don't remember us. how I even found that site. Honestly, I I have no. Like I, I, I say, I, like I, I say, it's random, I, right? I think, it, I, think, it I, think random, I asked right? somebody like where to maybe find a a, a CTO. Co-founder. Or, yeah. Yeah. You, no, no, like a CTO co-founder. in particular, because I because I already I already knew where to look for like a co-founder. You, you like, found you you found you 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 went to oh. co-founders lab before, and you found um um uh, stock. Uh, that's guy. Uh, what's his name? Stock. Stock? Huh? Stock. Not Tony Stock, but the other guy. The, the guy in California. We Weezy. Oh, 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 um, uh. I forgot his first name. Oh my God. Yeah, Jesus Christ. It's, uh, um. Cole, Cole, Cole Stock, Cole, right? Cole, 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 yeah, yeah. Cole yeah. Stock, right? Yeah. You found yeah. him on Co-Founders Lab. Okay. R- right yes right yeah right Wait, did i is that what is yeah that because what you you were looking you were look because you you have this business uh you want to oh uh, no he reached he found me he found but me. you're on uh, co- yeah, you're yeah, on yeah, co-founders yeah, land yes, that's why right. he found you but you're yeah. on there right, right because right. you were you were good looking and you're also on i just realized Hacker. i still had a i had a, uh, a membership on co-founders lab <laughs> uh until like last week and i was like what the f-? Like I got like some like Billy notification. It was like you know, uh, just letting you know your next six months is renewing. And I was like, what? I was like, when? When do I? I still have this thing. Uh, anyway, uh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No. What I'm saying is because you had that random. Even for me and you to meet is random because you imagine like this, like there's seven billion people, eight billion people on Earth, right? And how many people are on Co-Founders Lab? How many people are on Indie Hackers? Right. So know, even yeah. even the people on there, even like. The people on there by itself is a small probability. And even for the two people to come to yeah. meet together is even smaller than that, right? And then that's, to me, only you and I will happen to meet each other. What do you think the on, chances? On, think that's, the, a, that's a very low chance. What do you think the chances are of a, of, of finding a meaningful relationship in this world? Like odds of finding a, a truly meaningful relationship where you're talking about to the level of where we're getting at. And by the way, I have a, I have a secondary thought to this before just i want to get this out there before i forget this um i think i finally figured out the connection of the long tail to what we're talking about right right now right so like the whole the whole the whole point of this whole thing is is to curate the long tail uh to to find connections right like that, that to make connections by curation like that's the point of the long tail right i get the the concept of the long tail is the concept of the long tail the, the the knowledge to take from understanding the long tail is if you can curate it, you can unlock the the value that is in the long tail, right? If you can filter it, curate it, help people to find what they want to find, right? Well, like to your point, like there is no real way to to filter everybody's experiences on a platform or whatever. However, like I think I just finally connected the dots to this whole to this whole this whole fucking thing. Like we've been we've been I I know for the past two times we've had a conversation. We've been we've been just a little off. Like I'm not explaining this right, and I know I'm not, and you're not receiving it's it right. A, and it's I know a different that. Con- it's a different concept to understand. It, it is. It's really difficult. So so I think I just finally fucking figured this out. Okay. So your your core values are your filtration system to unlock the connections to other people um, uh, on the long tail of just humanity. Like you know you could you could obviously go and find take your connection your 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 values if you understand them filter out businesses, religions, nation states, whatever, and go, ah, this might be the best fit for me. And then I'm going to be a perfect match, but you could, you could probably, you could probably figure that out pretty easily once you know your values. Right. But it's the, it's the long tail, the everybody that you meet everywhere, every single day that if you know that, like you said, if you know yourself well enough and you know what you care about enough, well enough, you can then use that to filter through conversations with people and figure out, is this person worth a meaningful conversation? Like, let alone a meaningful connection, let alone meaningful work together, let alone all this other stuff, you know, that that rabbit hole that you're talking about that we've been that we've been going down um, for the most of this conversation, that is pure randomness. I agree with you. Right. Like, but that initial 
connection point, if you use your your values to filter out, you know, other people um, and their 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 values to find some connection commonality, because there was some commonality between us, right? Like that that I I don't I don't know that we I it was intentionally done the way that I'm talking about doing it right now because we're three and a half three years plus removed or three years I guess now removed from from that initial you know, understanding and we're, we understand way more together because we've explored this stuff together. Right. And we've gone way deeper down this, this rabbit hole. It was never by design that way, but I think there was something obviously clearly that was there. That right. And I think, out, I think, yeah. I, you know, I think the commonality is a, is the effect. Right. Because the outcome, like you're saying, like, yeah, the, the outcome, outcome yeah, because yeah, let's right. say you and I, you and I would go, Hey, you and I want to, you know, uh, be uh, you know like you you and I want because you need a a technical co-founder and I need a business co-founder right yeah. so our need is different because there's no need for you to go and look for a business co-founder if you are already a business co-founder it's that commonality sure. but the commonality yeah. the need your need is that I need this technical founder because I don't want to do the technical stuff. And for me, is I'm an opposite. The the that is the future. But once you once you connect it, you create commonality because you and I get together on the same place, on the same video chat, on the same platform. Those are commonality. Yes, there's a there are commonality. But like I say, it's a it's not a direct cause. It's an effect. So so yes, commonality does. Enter into the, the 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 fray, but it's not the reason why we connected. It's not the reason why we continue to connect because, right? right? No, I agree. Yeah, I mean, because because yeah. the commonality like, was like, the... it's like dating or something like that. You know, it's like getting married. To something like you can go on a you could go on a on a you could you could meet any any person of so another. Why, why don't you why don't you date a, a goat? That, that's a, that's, that's I, 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 you're, that's what I was, that's exactly what I was getting ready to say. Because you, like you, you, right, right, right. I but mean, I'm, a, yeah. I mean, no, you specifically, yeah. but I, I'm, I'm, maybe other people do, but you specifically, and I, well, so, specifically, I don't want to know you go. <laughs> so, so somebody did at one point in time, and I'm sure they gave us some pandemic, you know, as a result of it, um, uh, because they're fucking idiots. That's, you know, that's God's way of saying, like, like, hey you know you, you idiots like just because you can doesn't mean you should like i'm gonna i'm gonna give you all a plague you know like you know it's like it's like fucking dipshits plague you know like here's here's some disease like, i mean you, yeah. kill all me, you. that's not fair because you think about it if, <laughs> if i if i were to knock a a a glass of water down on you know from the table and you say hey you idiot! I'm going to make the <laughs> the, the glass shatter, right? And so God didn't do shit. He said, "Like that's fine. I present this framework. <laughs> you have to do. This, you have to a, violate the rule." And this is what happens. Uh, it's not like hey, you know, Li- I mean, you're not like you, 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 you knock over the, the glass, and then God said, "Well." You dim, you dumb shit. I'm gonna break that glass for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, it's 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 nudge. It's it's liberal liberal paternalism, you know. Um, uh. He gave you a choice architecture. Here's a goat. You can fuck the goat or you can not fuck the goat. Here you go. <laughs> you know? And you and, and you chose to fuck the goat. You know? Yeah, but, uh, but back yeah. to my back yeah. to my point, right? <laughs> the, the point is I'm trying to say this this what was the reflection say? Reflection say everything for every there's everything for everyone. Yeah. There's something for everyone, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything for everyone, I think. Yeah. Mm, that yeah, every, right. everything for everyone. Yeah. That, that was Maybe. A, that was a thing. Yeah. There is everything for everyone. There's something, you know, there is something that you can connect I with. I think there is something for everyone. That means something. that for, for me, is that That's one, point, as yeah. long as you hold your core values, eventually you going, because it's like, to me, it's like a molecule in, in, in space. And it's just going to bombard, bombard, like going to bounce, 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 bounce. But the thing is, it bounce, and it keeps bouncing against things, right? By random, it bounces against other molecules. Until you find the right molecule that you say, hey, you have something I need, right? And then mm-hmm. I bounce against it and I'm trying to take it. If he or she, right, doesn't connect, meaning, hey, you, yes, I have something you need, but you don't have what I need, so it's going to bounce. Until you, 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 you bounce, 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 until you find the, you know, the, the right, you know, they need something, 
and I need something and it match. And then right. when they match, it connects. And to me, in order you find your tribe, you cannot just bind to any core values that people say, right? Yeah, That's why it, it's hard to find a tribe because if you are, uh, I guess you, if you are completely, I guess, drawn into certain relationship, you are not going to be brought up. You lose opportunity to bind a made meaningful relationship with the thing, with the 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 the, uh, the people that has exactly what you need. So to mm-hmm. me, hold out, find your core values, understand your core values, and stand on it, and hold out until the right one comes. Yes, then, to me, to me, agree, to me, it's uh, to me, it's the same thing with work, because right. right now, right now, this is what people do. Uh, I need to pay rent, so I'm gonna go take whatever oh. job that comes up. Right, right. <laughs> to me, most people. This is it, to me. I, I don't know about statistically, but to me, I think most people take the first job offer they got. Yeah. Right. Because let's say let's say I, I apply for jobs, right, and then I apply for like ten jobs, and, and to me, ten jobs. A lot of people don't even apply that much. They right. apply for ten jobs, and then. They get the first offers, right? And they give them like, hey, give me 24 hours, three days to think about it. And so they have only one offer, but the other one is still considering. They don't even wait for the other one to come in. They took the first job, hmm? right? Uh, and I would, if, I would say that's if, probably 90% of the time. 95, I, I, that's what 95, I'm saying is yeah. for me, I feel like that statistically, most people are taking the first job they, they got. Hmm. They get offered. Yeah. Uh, in some cases where they have like, hey, uh, two offers coming at the same time, they take the highest, uh, the highest uh, salary. So the thing is, that what I'm saying is, it they don't think about the kind of work they do. Mm-hmm. And so to, to me, it's people don't hold out for the right job. They say, hey, you know, you know, a job is, is better than nothing. But the thing is, the moment they took that job, right, they they go into this rabbit hole and they won't realize it until the seventies, and they say, well, I fucking should have taken that art job versus that they. The well, other job, that, blah, 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 blah. That's that's a regrets, you know, um well, and, and, play, right? Like, but the thing that, is, but that is why why do you think play. why do you think people have regrets? Well it's because they didn't they didn't choose they didn't choose because the because like, the value <laughs> the, like yeah. I'm saying is let's say I go I go because I have John, I have Sean, I have a bunch of people comes to me and say, Hey, I'll be CTO and I say, Well, I don't like that kind of work. Right. And I say, Well, it's CTO, it makes money, okay. Right. I go become CTO. I wouldn't be we're talking to you right now. I, mean, I just, sure. I just won't, right? Right. But those, those people have come before you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. David came before me. Yeah. No, and, for and, sure. And I mean, you yeah. rejected me. You said, hey, you know, I, I found somebody, so you know, right. thank you for, thank you for your interest, but no, thank you, right? Right. And right. then, uh, like, I don't know, about a month later, they said, hey, like, you know, David didn't work out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you want to get together? Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm saying is because. If you don't hold out for what you want, then you won't. And then I, I, I agree. That, that's I mean, why people yeah. regret, and that's why I say there's something. To me, my my understanding well, and my reflection today is there's something for everyone, and you just have to wait and find for yourself. Because to me, it's rather you 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 wait for it than to do something that you don't want to do. Uh, I mean, I I one hundred and thousand percent agree with what you were saying. So much so. Like, I actually think you should revise what you just said down to you should only take one job because you should only ever go after one job because you know so well that this that job would align to exactly what you want to do if you were to ever, you know, be looking for a job. You should only be applying at one place. Like, you shouldn't apply to 10 places. You shouldn't apply to 100 places. You shouldn't apply to 1,000 places. Like, and, you know, and then just take whatever job comes. Like, you know, it's it's um uh like you might dumb luck into the right spot. Like, but, you know, like, it's it's more when likely. When you say dumb if, luck, and that's random, right? and random, the right. chance of you getting the right job that fits your personality is very very low. Very low. Um, I mean, and honestly, you're there's so many other factors that belong to that. Your boss, your team, the people you're around, like the like that that book Nine Lives. And you can't we'll choose. And you can't you choose. Can't choose so it has to be yeah. random. Like, if you can't yeah. choose, you can't curate how <laughs> the kind of boss you have, the kind of teammate you have. It's like hey, right. like you go in there say oh um. You know, boss, you hire this guy. I don't like it. You know, fire him. Like, it's not like you have that control. It's like I'm curating. Even in this tribe, in this society of workplace, 
we can't even curate it. And so you, so you can't right. really even even in that small sampling, can't even compare to the Amazon and Etsy because it doesn't make sense. But you think yep. you take that and you compare it to the whole world of dynamic wicked environment, it doesn't yeah, make oh, yeah, sense yeah. to it's, me. It's that's that's wild. Like it's a uh, um like you, you just you just described like my first six months at Salesforce. So um uh uh I started in in Q2 there. So like eight months later, right? Um uh um we we finished up Q, you know, Q4 in my first fiscal year at Salesforce. And um we were having our 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 um our RKO, our regional kickoff, right? For for right. our team with all of our people here in uh in Indianapolis and uh um one of the um uh RVPs um was given a presentation to the to the to the group. They they had brought everybody in from our New York offices, our land offices, our, our remote employees, our SF offices into Indianapolis, right? And uh, so we have maybe like 100, I'd say 100 people. Uh, no, it's probably not that much. It's probably like 60 people. Let's say there was like 60 people, um, you know, from all different areas of the country that had flown in and their bosses and and our our senior leadership team and everything was in one spot, you know, which was rare. So like this is why they do like our, our company kickoffs at, at, right after the fiscal year ends and when we're kind of setting the stage for the next year and yada, yada, yada. Well, one of the ladies um, that was uh, given this presentation, she had just gotten promoted into... Um, uh, a higher a higher level role into a higher uh, market segment, and uh, um, you know she'd been in, in in same market segment that I'd been in for you know for like five years, um, and uh, and she goes, I've been. Um, she was giving a speech about like you know just what it takes to be successful in this job. She goes, well, ironically, I've uh, I've only ever had you know two bosses, um, and they're both in this room right now. One is one was actually my boss, um, who was her former boss. Uh, and, um, and then my boss's boss, who was her former director, who was also her former boss. She was like, I've only, I've been here for almost eight years now. She's like, I've only ever had two bosses since I've worked here. She was like, it's, you know, it feels like it's home to me. I'm talking, I'm, I'm, I'm referring to like team, right. You know, like, mm -hmm. you know, the, the team aspect, you can't control that, right? Like you cannot control the fact that you work at a company that moves and changes so much to Salesforce that you had the same boss for eight years. Like that is unheard of in the world that I work in at this point in time. Like it is, it's mm -hmm. almost impossible. Um, uh, or only had two of those bosses in, in like eight year period of time that you worked there. And, uh, and I started laughing, um, uh, to myself, you know, uh, while she was giving this speech because I had only been at Salesforce for eight months and I was on my fourth boss, like in eight months. Um, uh, and none of those were by my choice, right? The person that I got hired in, she got fired, um, uh, within two months that I worked there. Then I was, uh, under an interim, our, our, our area vice president was under, it was under him. And then, uh, then he, that he brought in somebody else, uh, that finally started, um, and then that guy was awful. Uh, he got fired. And then I ended up on another team somewhere else, you know. So this is with an eight month period of time. Mm -hmm. I, I, I had no control of any of this stuff. Like, I, you know, whatever. And, and I'm listening to this lady talk about eight years and I've been there for eight months and I've had four managers. <laughs> she said two for, you know, and talk, talk about team randomness and all this. Other. It doesn't matter if you thought Salesforce was the best place ever in the world. Like you can, like her name's Amanda. She's a, she's an amazingly talented person. But um, but like at the same time, too, like, you know, it's hard. Like, you don't like team matters, like, you know, mm -hmm. who you're around matters, like what, you know, what, like your, your individual team, not just your boss, like who you're aligned, you're, like all these components, like, even if you think this is the right company, that the right values and the right alignment and the right job and all this other stuff, like even that still doesn't ever come together in a, in a grand, you know, fruition a lot of times in order to actually like find the success you want to find, you know, it's, it's just really fucking hard to your point, like to, to what we were talking about earlier. It is like, it's, it's so random at that point in time to, to get to like, you know, meaningful work and meaningful relationships. Um, uh, but, but I, but I am going to like end my thoughts on, on this one of there is everything for everyone, in my opinion, or something for everybody. Like if you dig deep enough, like you can at least scratch the surface on a, uh, to find a commonality um, uh, with, with anybody that you want to. Now, does that commonality take you down a deep rabbit hole where it turns into meaningful work and meaningful relationships down the road? I have no idea. Like that's something I can never predict. But if you can use your values to curate those interactions with people, you can at least give yourself an opportunity to go down that rabbit hole. If you mm -hmm. don't know that shit on the front end and curate this when you're meeting people, like then you have no chance of that. And if you don't do that, then you're just going to pick at random, like you said. And, you know, most of the time it doesn't work out like, you know, um, uh, and, you know, a lot of times it's not even going to work out anyway, even even if you have some cure, at least you give yourself a better chance. And at least, you know, you're going in the direction you want to be around the people you want to be around and stuff like that. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I. I don't know. Uh, is that, is that, is that, is that, 
Is that yeah, I'm, a long tail conversation? Like in a, in a, not really. I think no. I think <laughs> I think it. I'm past Damn long tail. I, I, <laughs> long tail is way over my head. I, I don't know. <laughs> but you're spilling about. But for me, I agree with something you said. You know, for for me, is that there is so many things has to be aligned for you to be like that Amanda person. Right. Right. And, and, and you say, well, you know, this is how I, I, this is my career and I can show you blah, 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 how to, how to be like me and how to have only two bosses. For you, like you think, hey, I'm going to follow this Amanda lady and I'm going to have only two bosses. Not possible. So to me is don't mistake commonality for the target. Don't use commonality as the target for you to start looking. Commonality is an effect, it's not the cause. Because if you're looking for commonalities, right, you're not gonna get what you want. Because like you, like, like I just told you, if you follow the quote, quote, blueprint of this Amanda lady, do you think you're gonna be where she is? I mean, if I had the exact same thing happen to me, maybe. I mean, but, but I'm saying, but even then, no, I don't know. I'm saying, I, I'm how many person. factors? How many factors have to be in play oh, for tons. for for her to be in that position? A, a million. Like, I mean, time, it's, it's, time, it's, it's, time is one factor. It's a huge. Factor. Her time, her time is before you because she right. she she joined before you, and your time is that's already different. That mm -hmm. means even one factor is different. It yeah. has completely have a different path. So. In the scenario where she has only two bosses for eight years, well, maybe she has the right bosses, you have the right team, you have the right bosses at the right uh, stage in life. Right. Because let's say one of the bosses, hey, you know, uh, I'm a little bit too old out. and yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm going to, to do last, blah, blah. Even, even the, 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 the factor of the other person inside her team, one of them inside her team, Completely derailed the path, mm -hmm. right? But I'm asking you, in the scenario where she only has two bosses in eight years and working in sex for eight years and having children allow her to do it, having husband allow her to do it, having her mom not having, sure. you know, atomic bomb and cancer, having blah, 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 right? right? All the things. So I'm asking you, how many factors have to be in play for her to do that? I mean... An, an infinite number that I could even hundreds yeah, and thousands right, of, right, infinite, right, of right. as I was saying, infinite number of factors. And for you to say, well, I'm going to find a commonality. What does she have that I'm going to do so that I'm going to be like her? Th that's not what but, I'm saying. That, that is I'm not saying, what I'm but, saying. But my yeah, point, yeah, is, my point yeah. is people do make this mistake, though. They, yeah, they right, look for right. commonalities and say, well, I'm going to be commonality too. So commonality isn't what you should be, should be targeting no. because you can't no. control that. I'm saying you can't control commonality. Commonality right. is an effect. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so, yeah. so what I'm saying is the first lesson is don't mistake commonalities as a target that you should be searching for because it, it's going to disappoint you because it won't work that way because there's so many variables in play. So mm -hmm. the only thing that to me is how do you live your optimal path? The optimal path is you got to understand who you want to be. Deep down, Take enough time to self-reflect and understand what it is that you really, really, truly want, right? And then continue to search for it. And by random chance, you can find somebody and you say, well, you can have what I want. You know, I would like to connect, right? right. The thing is, that's the only thing you can control. Yep. You can't control anyone else. You can't control the randomness. You can't control the environment either, right? Actually, you, you can't, can't you can't even control that person and you can't say to them, I want exactly. to you, you, you have cannot. what I need, I want to connect. Like you can say, yeah, I'm but, going but, down but this that's path. Half, do you want to maybe join the me? That's, <laughs> that's 50 percent of the success if you even know that something that I want is right over there. The, the only reason why this works, in my opinion, but that's 50% is, is, is we of, both of knew success. We, no, I, I agree, <laughs> but the only reason why I feel like this goes deeper is we both said we want to go down this path. And we said, why don't you, if I'm going this way, uh, you want to go with me? And you're like, yeah, why not? Like, you know, we happen to want to go down the same path together. Right. Like, you know, that was it. Like, it, it, and, and like that path and isn't going to change individually And I think between me us. and you, I think the path that we took and the path that where we were, was well, by random chance. Because yes. you happen to have this yeah. atomic bomb and I happen to get, like, I happen to get burned out. 
by this 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 company that I, I'm leading, and I, I'm completely like like overwhelmed by this 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 you know corruption, and and I, I like I have to quit. I have to because then you you know me, right? Mm-hmm. I told you that I would rather lie to your face and hurt your feelings than to lie to you, right? And so if that's a character, I have a strong care care. I don't know why. I mean, I didn't choose it, but I don't know why, but I don't like to be untrue, right? So I don't know why, but that, <laughs> that's who I am. And so yeah. when I when I build this business and the client I have is in this corruption, right? And, and you know, I, I should have known it's the government. So I, I, should have, I should have known, but I could not stand it. It is eating me from inside. So I have this like, I basically hit the, I'm telling you that Basically, the, the, the airplane is flying, and I just jump out. I just let the bl- airplane crash. Yeah. And you and I were at the same. You just had an atomic bomb with with your 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 daughter, right? And I was at that stage where I'm like, because I have ran this company since 2007, right? It's like right. 15 years, and then I completely quit. And I, I I said, well, I don't know what I'm doing right now. So I'm going on the in the hackers, and I was like, well, what's out there? And right. you, you know, you're trying to revive your 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 product after your, uh, you know, yeah, your time bomb. So you you and I happen to be there, and you and I happen to say, well, I don't want to do anything else because I have rejected so many offers, even in that 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 um that period of time. I would say, hey, I don't want to do that. Right. To me and you, we have gotten there by chance, and by chance, you and I are the same stage. And by chance, you and I held oh, yeah, on totally to the random. core value so strongly. Yeah, because the thing I mean, is, it's, it's insanely thing random. Is, and it, not it, even it, to get to where we are right now is even more random. Like, I mean, I don't. I mean, that's so like, the stage that you and I that I was in was random, and instead that right. you in as random, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it a random also happened to be in the same place. But over the past three years, you and I have used that chance, opportunity to kind of like distill. The reason why it works. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, and, yeah. and the reason why it works is because I was so adamant about the kind of things that I want. And when you told me about, you know, no fine policy, and I told you about siesta mm-hmm. in the middle of the day, we're talking about, you know, doing the things. I mean, we're talking about the future of the company. You and I have the same thing, and we wanted that because that is something we talk about. We don't, we get together for a business purpose, but all we talk about was, the future of the company, how the environment looks, the, the right. kind of things that we do together it has nothing to do with businesses. The talks I have with other people is about, you know, building this, building, making this money, blah, blah, right? So that doesn't align with me because right. I held on to this core value so strongly you already now. tried that. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're and you also that. held on to something t- strongly. That's why you say no to other people. I say no to other people. Right. You and I had a strong affinity for the core values that we want to achieve together, right? right? That's why you and I stay to connected for the past three years. Agreed. Right? Because but the thing is, without that, I would have taken something else. Yeah. I mean, I I a thousand percent agree. And if and like and it's not um yeah man, it is it is a like definitely the long tail, like okay, so like Final I think we should forget about the long no, 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 no. I, I, I can't, I can't, because I, because <laughs> all you brain, do is my, confuses my, me. <laughs> no, no, my, my brain is stuck on this. So, so, so the um, so like Spotify, right? So, like you may, it may, you may find a song. Spotify, the platform, may help you to find a long, a song in the long tail of songs out there that you know that that you may or may not you know agree with or something like that. But every once in a while, like. There might be that might help you to introduce that one artist or that one band or something like that that like just changes your fucking life, you know, where it's like the right song, the right band, the right artist, the right time, the right place. And all of a sudden, like, you're now you find yourself three years later, five years down the road, 10 years down the road. And now you're a you're a parrot head and you're going to every Jimmy Buffett, you know, like whatever. You know what I mean? Well, that would be more like a fat head scenario. But like you, you get my point of like 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 you're you're a fan for life. You're dedicated. Somebody asks you what your favorite artists are. And you're like, it's it's Lucky Boy's Confusion. You know, and you're like, why? And you're like, I don't know. Um, um, uh, w- uh, who are they? Uh, I don't know. They came to my fraternity one time because some random dude lived in Naperville, Illinois, that was also in my same fraternity. And I don't know how I ended up joining my fraternity in the first place because some 
one of my friends that I went to high school with happened to be there and his brother went there and I, that was the only place that I ended up going to. And then this guy knew this guy. And then we had a, you know, we would bring bands in. So to whatever. It's almost and, down to the store of randomness. <laughs> uh, right. Right. But, but my, 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 my point being is if like Spotify, like gives you like, you get to go like speed date, you know, like on Spotify, right? Like, Oh yeah. They're telling me I may like this song. Sure. Like you can help me find the, the long tail of songs, right. You know, um, of that are out there in the ether in the universe that may just based off of, Maybe how you think you know me, um, you know. But and I, what am I, but I, I think I disagree with with that because a lot of times, you know, the Spotify songs or whatever, they 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 overfit you. It's say, hey, you know, you start out with the song and they say, well, this song, this song, this song. They don't get away from it. Let's say I I start listening to happens yeah, to put yeah. on some soft music like classical music and everything yeah. I hear is classical music. It's like they don't even jump over to the something else. So I'm never going to get out of that circle. So to me, right. Spotify, Amazon, I hate them. Because the thing is, I, I I want something new. And and all they do is because they overfit they overfit the, the model and say, well, this person, it happens by them by a random chance that I've I've seen this thing mm. and I've listened to it for a while. I mean, I want to, maybe I'm interested. I want to give it a try. And they say, well, oh, since you listen to it, I'm going to give it more and more and more of that, right? And so if I say, because like, I have never come across any rap music. That you've ever, uh, ever liked? Never, or, ever. Or, 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 I've never, ever come across any rap music on Spotify. Well, that's because you're because not what? listening because to what? rap music. <laughs> no, exactly. So how, if, if I were never to go and search for rap music, right, how would I ever know to, re- to recommend me rap music? So how do I good point, try Trump. different things? So to me, good you're point. putting yourself in a box. You're putting yourself in, in a paradigm of... Well, not you. Own. They aren't. Spotify is. Uh, Spotify is boxed you. Exactly. So I, I don't... I, I mean, that's what I'm saying is you got to be careful. It's a bigger box. It's a bigger box, to be fair. Um, Because uh, you were in a box before when all you could see was, you know, what was on TRL. You know what I mean? Like, you, you were in a littler box at that point of time. Um, uh, now well, you're I'm at least just, in a bigger box. Yes. But, you, you, but see, the, you get you got to know you're inside a box. Right. Yes, you're in a box, though. Yes, in order in for box. you to get out of the box. You have yeah. to know you're inside a box to get out of the box, if, if that makes sense. Because if, no, you, if, you, do. if, you, if you don't sense. know, if you don't know that you're in a box, how could you ever get out of the box? Well, but you don't want uh, okay like this is this is actually interesting um i don't know that i want to go down this road because i, I want to go i want to go i want to go blow my nose really bad right now <laughs> all right all right all right that's fine we can continue okay, okay. <laughs> all right let's let's put a pin on this one because i'm gonna go i'm gonna go squeegee my nose because for everybody that doesn't know i'm sure none of you would know this like i had a nose surgery a couple days ago so my nose is all fucked up and i want to go blow my nose really bad right now and get it all out of my my sinuses so um uh, all right let's let's call it let's put a pin on this one for the night um okay uh the question we can leave for everybody is how are you leveraging your values to find your tribe right you know so um i'm gonna leave it at that no more no more comments <laughs> okay <laughs> otherwise awesome. it could continue right yes yeah it'll, it'll just keep going on all right have a good night all right. <laughs> you see you